All right, guys, putting on the screen and we will start with part two of necklace. But uh, before we start with it, we just revise what we had done in the first part. So guys, in the first part, we know that there is a character called Mathilda. Mathilda is a beautiful, charming girl who always felt that she deserved to have been born in a royal family. But because she was unluckily and unfortunately born into a family of clerks, she was denied or she, she was denied uh, from getting married to an aristocrat, to a rich person. She always felt that she deserved to be rich. And uh, the only desires that she had were all materialistic. Unko insan se ya achhe maabab se matlab nahi tha, achhi family se matlab nahi tha. All she wanted was a lot of money. She wanted, you know, a lot of beautiful dresses and jewelry and a big house, a palatial mansion, as it was mentioned over there. Right? She did not even visit her uh, good friend from her school days because she was rich, and if she visited her, it made her feel miserable, and uh, she would really curse herself. Then. Because she was uh, not, a, a, you know, a royal family member, she was uh, forced to marry to a person who was a clerk uh, in, or maybe you know, an an, uh, an officer at a lower grade in the Ministry of Education. The story was based in France. Okay, so then as the story goes ahead. One day, her husband gets an envelope which has an invitation for Matilda and her husband. And uh, Matilda's husband, Mr. Loisel, thought that looking at the envelope, she would be really happy. But instead, her reaction was literally opposite to that. And she was very sad. And she wasn't sad because she did not want to go to the party. She, of course, she wanted to go to the party. But she was sad because unko ye nahi pata tha ke wo kya pehen ke jayengi. The husband suggested that she could wear the dress that she usually wears to the theater for the drama. But she says no, that she did not want to wear that and she wanted to wear a new one. And finally, her husband, who had saved 400 francs to buy a, a gun to use for hunting with his friends, gave all, all of his savings to her so that she could buy a new dress. Even after buying a new dress, was she happy? Not at all. Even after buying a new dress, she was really upset because she wanted to have some good jewelry. The husband suggested her to wear uh, the flowers which were in trend in those days, but she refused to do this. Finally, uh, out, out of uh, desperation, she goes to one of her close friends and her name was Madame Forestia and uh, goes out there and buys goes out and buys uh, rather not not buy but she goes out there and she chooses to borrow a, a, a diamond necklace and she comes back home and the day of the party arrives and finally when the day of party arrives uh, she is really happy everybody appreciates her because she was already very beautiful and now because of the dress that she was wearing which was extremely expensive and the jewelry that she had put on made her look even more beautiful. And finally, she danced a lot. She enjoyed a lot. It was fourth in the morning and she, they left from the party. They did not get a cab. So they walked for a good amount of time and a distance. And finally, they reached home. They got a cab. Once she came home, she thought, I'll have that final look into the mirror. And when she did, she realized that the necklace that she had put on was nowhere to be seen. And her husband was tired, was in a state of shock because it wasn't theirs. Let us see what happens in part two. And I have given you some homework for part one as well. Uh, let us see what happens in part two. Here we go. Please have your books and pens and pencils ready. All right. They looked in the, in the folds of her dress, in the folds of her cloak in the inner pockets, everywhere, but they could not find it, right? So, so they looked for the necklace in the fold or the cloak that she was wearing. Fold of the dress is, uh, 
लड़कियों लड़कियां शायद जानती हैं इट्स ऑल्सो प्लीट्स ओके सो जो ड्रेस होता है उसमें बहुत सारी प्लीट्स होती हैं क्लोक इज अनादर जैकेट के अंदर थिंग दैट गर्ल्स वेयर सो उसमें शायद अटक गया होगा दे दे ट्राई टू लुक इट लुक फॉर इट ओवर देयर आल्सो इन हर पॉकेट्स एवरीवेयर बट दे कुड नॉट फाइंड इट आर यू श्योर यू स्टिल हैड इट ऑन व्हेन यू लेफ्ट द हॉल ही आस्क्ड हु इज ही ओवर हियर इट्स हर हस्बैंड मिस्टर लॉयजल सो उन्होंने उसको पूछा कि तू पक्का बताओ डिड यू हैव इट ऑन व्हेन यू लेफ्ट फ्रॉम देयर बिकॉज़ इफ यू डिड नॉट हैव इट व्हेन यू लेफ्ट फ्रॉम देयर देन मेबी इट इज इन द हॉल she says yes i touched it in the hall of the minister at the ministry so one thing was very clear that it wasn't lost in the ministry hall but if you had lost it in the street we would have heard it fall it must be in the cab so now that's what i think we all do jab bhi hum koi cheez bhul jate hain so we try and apply our logics we are all big fans of those uh, you know mysterious series like cid once upon a time jahan par ऐसे प्रद्युमन कुछ ना कुछ सोचते थे और बोलते थे कुछ तो गड़बड़ है राइट सो दैट्स व्हाट इज ट्राइंग टू वंडर कि अगर हॉल में तुम्हारे पास वो ऑलरेडी था और अगर वाइल यू वर वॉकिंग ऑन यू नो वर वॉकिंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट हैड इट फॉलन ऑन द स्ट्रीट तो आवाज आता बिकॉज़ इट वाज फोर इन द मॉर्निंग प्रीटी क्वाइट एंड साइलेंट एंड ऐसे में अगर कुछ चीज गिर जाती है आपकी स्पेशली गवर्नमेंट तो कुछ आवाज तो आता सो वी वुड हैव एक्चुअली हर्ड इट सो देयर इज ओनली वन ऑप्शन देयर इज ओनली वन पॉसिबल a place where you've lost it and it's in the cab why in the cab because cab may while you're sitting the distance between your neck and the, and and the and the seat where you're sitting is really less aur agar aapka jo necklace hai agar wo slide hokar bhi gira hai to aapko awaaz nahi aayega because uh, the, the the seat is full of cushion it's soft yes that's probably it did you take his number no So now, guys, see, in those days, this was like really, really olden times uh, ka story. So, आज कल के ज़माने में what do we have? We usually, you know, go uh, by Ola and Uber, and when you book that, you have the records, all the records of the of the cab driver, the rickshaw driver, in that app. So, if you forget something, and if you call uh, the Uber customer care or the Ola customer care, and just tell them, you know, that I forgot my mobile phone or something or money in in that particular vehicle. they will make sure that they trace the cab driver and they get it for you and sometimes the cab drivers or the rickshaw drivers are honest themselves wo khud aapas aake dekhe jate hain but wo time pe to kuch tha nahi so he said no they stared at each other stunned stunned means shocked they were both shocked all right at last loisel put his clothes on again i'm getting back i'm going back he said over the whole route he we walked and see if i can find it so now this tired man who who was who had put, you know put off his clothes and was ready to go to bed and sleep put on his clothes again and he said i think i'll have to go back and he said i'll walk down the entire road where we walked so that we can find it all right he left she remained in her ball dress all night ball dress is the party dress please are this on ball dress is the party dress and her mind blank of course it had to be her husband returned at about 7 o'clock he had found nothing so the husband came back after some time and he did not find anything he went to the police to the newspapers to offer a reward to the cab companies everywhere uh the tiniest glimmer of hope led him so he tried everything that he could went to the police station filed an fir uh he also put a, uh, an ad in the newspaper saying ke jisne bhi ye uh, jo bhi hamara necklace wapas kiya to we'll reward you and he did everything that he could that gave him some hope she waited all day in despair in despair in despair in is means in worry at this frightening and and this frightful disaster loisel returned in the evening a hollow pale figure hollow means tired pale figure means colorless figure he was completely tired and did not even sleep he had found nothing you must write to your friend he said tell her you have broken the clasp clasp what do you mean by the word clasp clasp is the little part of the necklace 
wherein you actually tie the necklace with okay jahan se hum necklace ko bandhte hain usko fasate hain usko clasp bolte hain so loisel thought of an idea he told his wife to one thing abhi agar humne tumhare friend ko bahut jaldi necklace nahi diya so she will anyway realize that maybe we've lost it somewhere and that's going to be very difficult so what you can do is write a letter to her and say that the clasp has broken and i will repair it for you and give it back to you so give me some time isi tarah se hum thoda time le lenge and we'll try and find it out so tell her you have broken the clasp of her necklace and that you are having it mended the meaning of the word mended is repaired this will give us time to look some more she wrote as as he dictated at the end of one week they had lost all hopes and loisel suddenly looked aged aged and uh, the word aged over here means old of course wo do kuch dinon mein budha nahi ho gaya tha it just that he looked very tired and very very much worried so so when when you worry a lot uh, very a lot you actually create a lot of uh, wrinkles on your face so loisel looked a little aged and he declared we must consider how to replace this jewel he said now we should think ki ab hum is jewel ko replace kaise karenge kyunki agar jaake bata diya ki hum sab gum ho gaya hai so it was going to be a big problem why a big problem because reputation kharab ho jayegi to ek hi tarika hai ki hum aisa dusra diamond necklace dhoonde aur unko jaake de de and say and so they went from jeweler to jeweler looked for a necklace like the other one consulting just consulting their memories both sick and grief and ang- with grief and anguish both sick with grief as in disgusted with grief grief is sadness and anguish is a mixture of sadness and anger ab ye log har ek jeweler ke paas gaye ढूंढने के लिए ऐसा ही नेकलेस जैसा ही नेकलेस था वैसा ही कहीं पर है एंड दे ऑन गोइंग ऑन एंड दे ऑन फाइंडिंग इट इन बोथ 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 वर वर सिक फीलिंग इन अ शॉप एट द पिलाइस रॉयल दे फाउंड अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ डायमंड्स व्हिच सीम टू बी एग्जैक्टली व्हाट दे वर लुकिंग फॉर फाइनली एक शॉप में उनको मिला एग्जैक्टली वैसा ज्वेलरी जैसा वो लोग ढूंढ रहे थे इट वॉज वर्थ फोर्टी थाउजेंड फ्रेंक्स guys you can now imagine jo family ya jo couple 400 francs a dress afford nahi kar sakta tha wo 40000 francs a jewelry wapas kaise return karega they could have it for 36000 why 36000 because they had maybe negotiated and they had bargain bahut bargaining kiya rahega to wo thoda kam ho gaya still 36000 was actually a difficult amount to gather all right we go on to the next page so they begged the jeweler not to sell it for 3 days and they made an arrangement that he would take it back, back for 34000 francs if the other necklace was found before the end of february so guys now they begged the jeweler as in they requested the jeweler a lot and they requested the jeweler not to sell it for 3 days 3 din tak usko please mat bechiye hum paisa arrange karke aapko de denge and there was a deal that they that they made with the jeweler they said they told him agar february ke end tak agar humko pehla necklace mil gaya to we will give this necklace of yours back to you and you will pay us 34000 francs again so i hope aapko ye mathematics samajh mein aaya ho so the deal actually happened for 36000 francs and inhone socha ki agar wo pehla necklace wapas mil jayega to hamare 36000 francs bhi waste ho jayenge so they must have told the jeweler ki agar humko wapas mila to hum wapas jaake dekha jaye aapko so the jeweler is also there to earn money right we all know jeweler bhi kaisa hi kamana chahta hai वो बिजनेसमैन है वो क्यों किसी को फ्री में ऐसे दे दे तो वैसा तो कोई भी ज्वेलरी लेकर जाएगा पहन के वापस अगले दिन देकर जाएगा सो द ज्वेलर मस्ट हैव पुट अ कंडीशन आई विल टेक इट बैक बट आई हैव वन कंडीशन 
I will not give you the entire thirty-six thousand francs back. I will I will keep two thousand francs with me, and I will give only thirty-four thousand francs to you. But because these two, the couple was in 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 a in a desperate situation, they had no other option but to agree to the terms and conditions. Loisel had eighteen thousand francs, which his father had left him. He would borrow the rest. So now the point was, thirty-six thousand francs angi kahanse. So, Loisel's father had left him eighteen thousand francs. So, his dad didn't save for it. So, they were there. But the rest eighteen thousand, he had decided that he would borrow, and he did borrow. He gave notes, made ruinous agreements. Ruinous. The meaning of the word ruinous. The meaning is given on the right hand side bottom, leading to heavy loss. Okay. So, where there may be if. 12% per annum ka interest hoga to ye aadmi ne maybe 14% per annum ka deal kiya to uska loss bhi bada hua and what did he do he gave notes he made ruinous agreements dealt with every type of money lender then he went to get the new necklace and laid down on the jeweler's counter 36000 francs so finally usne 18000 francs borrow kiya nuksan wali deal sign ki जैसे भी मनी लेंडर मिले उनकी बात सुनी उनका ताना सुना एंड वेंट एंड गिव ऑल द मनी टू द शॉपकीपर द ज्वेलर व्हेन मदाम लॉयजल टुक द नेकलेस बैक मदाम फॉर मदाम फॉरेस्ट सेड कोल्डली यू शुड हैव रिटर्न्ड इट सूनर आई माइट हैव नीडेड इट नाउ द वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू इफ यू रिमेंबर नेवर बोरो नेवर लेंड and in case life throws up a situation where you have no other option but to borrow it is your duty to return the thing back carefully and as it is right so you know and i and then tell you it, of course my parents taught this to me but another reason why i firmly believe in this is because i had experienced this once so it so happened in my 8th standard that uh, we had our football tournament and just on the day just on the day of the uh, on 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 the of the semi finals while we were practicing i uh, was actually playing barefoot because it was raining and uh, we were just practicing and all of them, there was a piece of glass that entered my feet and of course my feet was cut and uh, i was injured and so i had to sit out of uh, sit out uh, on the bench for that particular game so i went to the doctor got the stitches done and everything so one friend of my one teammate of mine came up to me and and told me that you know what i have actually uh, there's some problem with my shoes my studs can you lend me yours so i thought okay fine what matters is that the team should win and the teammate uh, should not you know be short of any equipment that is needed for us to win so i said anyway mai to khel nahi raha so i gave it to him after i gave it to him i told him to get it the next day in the school he did not i kept reminding him and he just said yes yes leke aata hu and after a week or so i realized that he's done something wrong to the shoe maybe he's lost it ya to usne tod diya ya to pata nahi kuch kar diya hai ya to maybe he's just trying to keep it with himself and he doesn't wish to give it back to me so one day i landed up uh, at his house at his doorstep and he wasn't at home so i asked his mother where is he the mother said he has gone to his tuition so i told his mother that uh, your your son borrowed shoes from me she says no no it, they, these are his shoes and i was shocked because he had lied to his mother that these shoes were gifted to him by someone and when i checked those shoes he had changed the laces of my shoe so that i could not uh, you know uh, claim that ye mere joote hain then he also uh, shayad joote fat bhi gaye the khelte khelte so usne shayad usko silwa bhi liya tha so i went on i fought and i got my shoes back that's when i realized that it's really wrong to borrow first and if you cannot lend it and if you cannot uh, give it back to the person as it is you should never borrow it pehli baat to borrow karna hi nahi chahiye but if you do return it sooner kyunki us insaan ko bhi zarurat ho sakti hai us cheez ki and return it the way you got it from then on madam loisel knew the horrible knew the horrible life of the very poor kyunki ab unhone 36000 francs ka loan liya tha to loan ka emi bharna tha so now she was living that life of poor 
ऑलरेडी वो मिडिल क्लास की लाइफ जी रही थी अब और भी पुअर लाइफ हो गया इसके लिए कंप्लेन नहीं करते रहना चाहिए ऑफ कोर्स आई एम सीइंग दिस डजंट मीन आई डोंट वे ह्यूमंस वी ऑल कंप्लेन बट वी हैव टू ट्राई एंड बी ग्रेटफुल टू आवर गॉड एट द सेम टाइम एंड यू नो ठीक है कभी-कभी गुस्सा आता है कि यार सब गलत मेरे साथ ही क्यों हो रहा है बट एट द सेम टाइम व्हेन यू आर डन विद योर एंगर एंड यू शुड जस्ट यू नो प्रे टू गॉड सेइंग दैट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर व्हाटएवर यू डन मी बिकॉज़ जो हमारे पास है आज बहुतों के पास उतना भी नहीं है और अब ये गरीबों की जिंदगी जीने वाली थी बट शी प्लेड हर पार्ट हेरोइकली लाइक अ हीरो द ड्रेडफुल डेट मस्ट बी पेड ड्रेडफुल द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ड्रेडफुल इज डेंजरस समथिंग दैट कैन कॉज डिस्ट्रक्शन डी ई बी टी इज डेट इट्स नॉट डेप्ट बी को प्रोनाउंस नहीं करते बी साइलेंट डेट डेट इज अ लोन अब लोन तो पे करना ही था शी वुड पे इट they dismissed their maid they changed their lodgings they rented a garret under the roof right so unhone kya kya kiya dekho agar aapko loan bharni hai to you have to reduce your standard of living so pehle to maid ko nikal diya yani sara ka sara kaam khud se karna padega they changed their lodgings lodgings as in they are living bade ghar mein rehte hain to ab chote ghar mein rehna padega they rented a garret under a roof garret ka meaning utar diya hua hai guys a small uncomfortable room at the top of the house is called the store house to normal ghar chhod ke store house mein rehna shuru kiya she came to know the the drudgery of housework drudgery ka meaning burden b u r d e n burden she came to know the burden of housework the the arduous labors of the kitchen odious the meaning of the word odious is the terrible labor of the kitchen she washed the dishes the dirty linen linen is cloth kapde bhi khud dhoti thi she carried the garbage down to the street every morning and carried up the water stopping at each landing to catch her breath and dress like a commoner she had to bargain at markets quarrel that is to fight and face insults over every miserable saw so guys like in uh, india we have rupees and paise like in the us we have dollars and cents similarly In France, we have francs and saws. So, what did she have to do? She had to dish the food, wash the clothes. She carried the garbage down. Then, water is common. It will be a common tap. It will be filled from there. Every step she took to catch her breath because she was tired. She dressed like a common person. She had to bargain at markets, quarrel, fight with the with the vegetable sellers, and face insults over every miserable saw. One by one, she had to fight for her life, and that is why. the shopkeeper would insult her but she had to tolerate all of that each month they had to pay some loans renew others and get more time har mahine kuch kuch unhone loan pay kar di aur kuch loans pay nahi kar paaye to uspe interest laga to uska interest pay interest pay kiya but they had to do it her husband worked extra let us see husband we in the previous paragraph we came to know all the struggle that madam loisel did and now we'll see all the struggle that the husband did her husband worked extra every evening doing accounts for a tradesman for a businessman and often late into the night he sat copying a manuscript at five saws a page so in those days maybe typewriters shall nahi the ya the but bahut expensive the to log kya karte the agar xerox ya photocopy chahiye there would be some people who would write it for you to aapko kya koi insaan ko bolna hai ki ye jo ek jo cheez hai इसके जैसे मुझे पांच कॉपीज अब लिख के दीजिए एंड विल पे यू मनी सो ही डिड ऑल ऑफ दैट ओके एंड सैट कॉपी द मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट एज इन समथिंग रिटन बाय ह्यूमन जो इंसान लिखता है एंड द कॉस्ट वाज फाइव सौ जो पेज एक पेज का पांच सौ पांच सौ एज इन फाइव हंड्रेड नहीं सौ इज द करेंसी ऑफ यू एंड दिस लाइफ लास्टेड टेन ईयर दस साल तक ये जिंदगी जिया एट द एंड ऑफ टेन ईयर्स दे हैड पेड ऑफ एवरी even the interest yani completely loan pura ka pura pay off kar diya tha madam loise looked old now why do you think she looked old she looked old because she had worked really hard she did not look after her her personality her skin and so on often she brooded over the past brooded the meaning is given on the right hand side bottom thought sadly or unhappily 
मेहनत के बाद भी कि गलती क्या थी आई वॉन्ट टू राइट इन दैट वॉट वॉज अर मिस्टेक लूजिंग द नेकलेस और इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस बोरोइंग अ नेकलेस नेकलेस खो देना गलती था या सबसे पहले नेकलेस बोरो करना ही गलती था राइट वन ऑप्शन वन एज योर आंसर और ऑप्शन टू सो जस्ट राइट वन और टू विथ वॉट एवर वॉट वी यू अग्री विथ ऑप्शन वन इज शुड नॉट हैव बोरोड द नेकलेस एट ऑल ऑप्शन टू इज शुड नॉट हैव लॉस द नेकलेस इफ यू आस्क मी इन माई ओपिनियन आई थिंक ऑप्शन वन उसको बोरो ही नहीं करना चाहिए था but this woman still did not understand one sunday as she was walking in the champs elysees suddenly she saw madame forestier still young still beautiful still charming so wo abhi bhi bahut khoobsurat thi aur uske paas aaj bhi bahut sare servants the she was still rich she would she could still look after her beauty so she still looked beautiful and young Madame Loisel felt emotional. All right. Should she speak to her? Yes, of course. And now that she had paid, she would tell her all. Why not? So, वो सोच रही इससे बात करना चाहिए क्या? And then she told her, "अभी तो मैंने सब कुछ भर दिया. अभी मैं क्यों सोचूं?" She went up to her. Good morning, Jenny. The other astonished, astonished as in surprised, to be addressed so familiarly. by this common woman did not recognize her she stammered but uh, madam i don't know you you must have made a mistake so uh, madam forestier was lovingly and you know the, her nickname was jenny and usko bada ajeeb laga ke yaar nickname se to humko hamare dosti bulate hain ab ye aur to to main pehchante bhi nahi hu pata nahi kaun hai because madam loisel now looked yeah looked old so she says madam i don't know you kuch galti ho rahega aapse so let's see what does madaila say she says no i am mathilda loisel her friend uttered a cry oh my poor mathilda how you've changed yes i have had some t- hard times since i last saw you that was 10 years ago and many misery many difficulties and challenges and all because of you Guys, do you see this woman is still blaming Madame Forest here? Yeah, Madame Forest, so you have not come to see my necklace. You went and asked for it. You have taken it and you have taken it. You have taken it and you have taken it. It is your mistake completely all over the place. How do you how do you uh, blame the person who actually lent it to you? Me? How can that be? You remember the diamond necklace that you lent me to wear to the ministry party? Yes, well, well, I lost it. What do you mean? You brought you brought it back. I brought to you, I brought you back another exactly like it, and it has taken us ten years to pay for it. It wasn't easy for us. We had very little, but at last it is over, and I am very glad. Madame Forestier was stunned. She was shocked. You say that you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine. Yes, she didn't notice them. They were very similar, and she smiled with proud and innocent pleasure. Madame Forestier, deeply moved, took both her hands. Oh, my poor Mathilda, mine was an imitation. It was worth five hundred francs at most. So, the twist here is. that the necklace that she had borrowed from madam forest here and the necklace that she lost was actually an imitation the word imitation 
मींस डुप्लीकेट वो डुप्लीकेट था वो नकली था और वो बोलती है उसका कॉस्ट मैक्सिमम 500 फ्रैंक्स रहेगा और ये मैडम ने जाके उनको असली वाला दे दिया 36000 फ्रैंक्स का और 10 साल अपने बर्बाद कर दिए स्टिल डिड रियलाइज हर मिस्टेक do you understand how can one little mistake of borrowing can land you in trouble right so first of all don't borrow and if at all life puts you in such situations make sure that you return whatever you borrowed the way you should have okay take care of that particular thing the way you would have looked after your own stuff all right guys we're done with the lesson your 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 homework for the day is you go to page number 25 as you can see on the screen english workshop activity 1 complete the following table who said to whom and when uh and then i want you to do activity number 2 activity 1 and activity 2 that you can see on your screen activity 1 and activity 2 right so that is your homework i am putting the screen share off all right right i got so many messages saying should not have borrowed should not have borrowed borrowing the necklace option one option one one and two both right all right Okay, guys. So if you have some doubts, you can ask me. You can write your doubts over here in the chat. And if you have no doubts, you can write no doubts, and we will be done for the day. Meaning of the word pale figure. Pale is colorless, tired, drudgery. Drudgery is burden. B u r d e n. Hollow also means tired over here. Who doesn't have strength? Drudgery का meaning बता दिया है मैंने. Majority of the of them say no doubts. Meaning of fickle. Fickle is little and cheap. Odious. Odious is torturous. T o r t u r o u s. Lodgings mean livings. Lodgings mean livings. Harshit Patel is asking me what happens afterwards. I don't know Harshit. I'll have to find out Madam Loisel and maybe find out from her. The lesson was interesting. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, the question is, sir, did Madam Forrester return the necklace of thirty-six thousand francs to Mathilda Loisel? we don't know about that guys because the story was just as much as we just read aged matlab old stammered okay stammering matlab haklana okay stammered uska kuch english mein kuch aisa hai nahi glimmer as in a ray of hope quarrel means to fry or to fight Thank you so much, Nithi from Ghatkopar. Uh, can you please repeat the meaning of lodgings? Lodgings means living's ghar. Lodge, बोलते हैं ना lodge, जहाँ पे रहना है, as to live. बेटा Rex from Devidyal. I like your question, बेटा Rex. Francs का meaning मैंने last lecture में बताया था. It's a currency. मैंने ये lecture में भी बताया that it's a currency. But no problem, Rex. All right. The next lecture you will come to know what we'll do. The next lecture. All right, uh, Shashi Gan sir. I think we are done, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll meet tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye. And remember, bye, Sunday, twelve o'clock, we have a parent session. Bye, everybody. Bye, sir. Bye. Sir.